Hey shiny crafty people, welcome back to the channel. It's Tim Totten here. And today I want to talk to you about holiday decorations for your table or just everyday decorations when all you've got are a couple of, of placemats and a runner that go together and there aren't anything else in that line of stuff. So imagine you've gone to the store and you've, you know, you've gotten maybe placemats you're going to use for your everyday wear or maybe something um, for the holiday and you decide, well, there's just not all the other pieces. I'm gonna teach you how to take one of those placemats and turn it into the cutest little like um, basket for your dining room table that you could put muffins or, or um, biscuits or anything else small into. And this literally takes minutes. So join me down at the cutting table. I'll show you what we're gonna do. So we're going to need some kind of a placemat. This is just a Christmas one that I picked up at Walmart. And of course you will need um, a pair of scissors at some point just to trim things. And some pins or some clips. I'm going to use these cute little clips here. I'm going to make it really easy to do. And this is how easy it is. We're going to fold that directly in half. Okay. And um, I actually want the fringe at the top. I'm going to use that. And I'll come along to the side and I can either use... Uh, my pins if I needed to, but I'm just going to use my clips here because I've just started using these and these are really cool. And I'll clip on each side at the top. And, and there's two options. I could clip all the way down each side and then cut this or I can fold some in. And so I'm going to show you what I, what I think would be a really good idea. Like on this uh, sample one that I t showed you, um, this bottom is about four or five inches wide down here and I kind of like that as a, as a size. So what I'm going to do is come to my um, my piece here and find about um, two or three inches up and that's where I want to fold in. So I'm going to find the line across there and I'm going to fold at that point. And you could go to your iron and fold that in if you wanted to. And I'm going to fold it back here until it kind of, I can find the equal from the other side. So this makes sense. I'm kind of pushing back until I find an equal amount that I folded over. And I'll do the same thing um, on this other side. I'm sort of just taking out five or six inches of that. And then I'll put some clips on that as well. Like I said, this takes almost no time at all. And then maybe a few more clips on each side just to hold all the pieces in. And then we're going to go to the sewing machine. Oh, that's right. You also need a sewing machine. I should have told you that. All right, so let's go over to my sewing machine and you can watch what happens next. This is how easy this is. And I'm just using black thread because um, there's black in here. And I'll just go right up to the top. Now, not off to the top of the fringe, obviously, but where the fringe starts and make sure I get, um, I'm using about a 3 8 inch seam allowance here, but we're not worried because this is already a finished edge. So I'm just gonna let it create the finished edge as we go. And this is on the inside, it's not gonna be seen, but you could take that off. That was the, where, the, um, where the tag went. So I've now sewn through all of those layers and I can pull over to the other side and do the exact same thing. So I'll come to the other side and get that fringe out of the way. This is great if um, I was at Walmart shopping and um, for, for some things for this, this project is to find different simple placemats. And they had <coughs> these placemats and I think some napkins and like a table runner or two, but that was it. The stuff didn't, um, there wasn't anything else that coordinated with this look. And I thought, well, you know, you'd want a few other things. So what else can we get? So now we're going to literally open this up and turn it inside out. So you'll see, you'll see I've literally, um, I have that done and I'm gonna turn it inside out and point out those corners where we had them folded, those corners that went in there. So it's about five or six inches across. And it's having fun finding its way out. There we go, that one found its way out. Same thing on the other side. And it's gonna create sort of this triangle shape as it's going, coming out. <laughs> so nice here, look how nice that did. It kind of created a, a shape that goes down there. So I'll show you here. And then we can just fold down this top edge. Look how cute that'll look. 
and you just sort of measure where you like what you like to do. And now we've created this cute little bucket that can go, look at that, cute little bucket that just goes on your, your table. I mean, I also made one out of this cute reversible um, Pioneer Woman um, table or uh, placemat. I also found one of these sort of very sleek, elegant, you know, futuristic looking sort of placemat. You'll see those edges in the corners there. Um, and of course, the nice part about it is there's only two rows of stitching in here, literally two rows of stitching. So if later on you didn't want to use this for a basket, you could just take the stitching out and you'd be back to where you were. So that's this cute little um, biscuit basket that you can use out of a simple placemat for your table so you have more coordination on your holiday table without spending tons of money. I've been Tim Totten. You have been watching uh, the channel here at Shiny Crafty People. If you want more videos like this, to see more cute little things like this you can do, please subscribe. Please go ahead and give the thumbs up and like the video. Click the bell icon for notifications when you can see other videos from us. And until next time, stay crafty. Bye for now. Oh, this is going to be the cutest thing.